Hi everybody! Hello, hello, hello. It's Veronica of Veronica Events and the editor of the Wedding Planner Lifestyle Magazine. And today is Wedding Wednesday. It is August 18th. Tell me how I know. Yesterday was my mother's birthday, so I can't forget the 17th. So today is the 18th. I'm coming to you today. Last week I posted a video um, because I didn't go live last week. So um, I did actually post a video uh, when I first started um, uh, about a month and a half ago. And uh, today's topic, hi everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. Um, I'd like to talk about a topic today that is one of my favorites, of course, and um, it has to do with our grooms because, of course, in order for us to have a wedding and a ceremony and all the wonderful, the celebration, it starts with a couple and there's a man and a woman and he's the groom and she's the bride and you know um now we're seeing more than ever that we are definitely celebrating uh the men in our lives or the man in your life or the men around you whether they be uh friends or whatever is the relationship and um i think it's important for us to talk about their cake because we never really talk about the groom's cake and i think it's an important uh, accessory it's absolutely important it's decadent it's delicious there's so much you can do in designing a groom's cake and uh, without further ado like I said today's topic everything you need to know about the groom's cake we need to celebrate the men in our lives the man that you're getting married to your life partner someone that you've chosen uh, he has chosen you also and um, uh, bringing this union together and we want to talk about his cake because we always seem to talk about the wedding cake the wedding cake which um, I don't want to negate that it's absolutely important however I think celebrating uh, the groom is also important so I will start with that today so I'm just gonna give uh, less than a minute or so uh, for uh, folks to join uh, those that are already here, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Cataldi, thank you guys. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, Marilyn Signature, I can see you. Thank you, thank you. Girl, let me put my glasses on so I can see better. Nobody need to be fronting here. Nubian uh, Serenity, Nubian Serenity, thank you so much for joining. Again, Marilyn Signature, hi there. Thank you so much, Cataldi, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Enduring Promises. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. And like I said, to repeat it really quickly, today's topic is something that we usually don't talk about a lot, but we should. And that's the, the groom and everything you need to know about the groom's cake. So where did this all start? I think um, uh, the groom's cake, it's, this, it's his time to actually shine his personality, uh, his taste, the details regarding the cake. And of course, we know groom's cake can come in many shapes and forms. It depends on uh, if he's into sport, um, you know, if he's into art, whatever it is that uh, he is fond of or is his favorite, that's how we design his cake. So that's where I want to start. Now, it influences and it represents him, like it represents his hobbies, uh, his taste, and typically it's served um, prior to just being at the wedding it was served actually at the rehearsal dinner now more so we actually have the groom's cake at the wedding during the reception and it's on a separate table or sometimes uh, we as planners would actually do it side by side where we have the wedding cake which represents uh, both couples as the signature or signature piece. And then we will have the groom cake and you know, he gets a separate table, which I like him getting a separate table. Why not? He's the groom. He needs to be celebrated also. So um, uh, now it's alongside the reception, um, the wedding cake at the reception. Now the history, very quickly, I just want to touch on that. It's, it's traditional. It's nothing new that we are, uh, you know, uh, celebrating the groom and the groom cake. You'll find that it's usually infused with maybe alcohol, um, you know, if they're into uh, chocolates. It's totally separate from uh, the bride's cake because the bride's cake is more a little more feminine. So the groom's cake actually represents him and his personality. So it would have liquor, like I just mentioned, uh, alcohol infused. Um, it may have uh, fruit. Um, they'll also have... Um, 
anything that he would consider personal to him, uh, he would incorporate in this cake. Now, the history behind uh, a groom's cake, this I'm going to um, just uh, take from uh, some research that I did uh, from Rachel Tufel. She's actually uh, a very respected wedding planner uh, based out of Britain. And uh, the information she provided is that it started in Britain. And um, what it represented was um, the groom served to the groom. If you ate the bride's cake, the groom's cake, you take it home, put it under your pillow, and supposedly you would actually be, <laughs> you would actually be, that's funny to me, you would actually be the next bride. So if you're at a wedding, you ate the groom's cake, you save the piece for yourself, you take it home, put it under your pillow. I'm not sure how you, if it's in a box or in foil or whatever you decide, and you slept on it, then uh, the next person getting married that should be you and let's just hope it works and if it does please let me know um thank you so so much i'd like to uh, actually thank rachel for that information she's the owner of intricate uh icing cakes design in london england now moving along to do you have to have a groom's cake um it's not a necessity but it's a great way to celebrate him and if it is part of your um budget and you can incorporate a groom's cake it's it's great to have and it can be inexpensive um i mean it can be uh, about a pound it's one slab and uh you decorate it based on you know what is his favorite team or lights or something that is personalized to him so it's personalized in that sense usually you'll find for a groom's cake um chocolate is uh, one of the uh top uh flavors for a groom cake and then um, the the second thing that they would actually select is vanilla, which I was totally bl uh, blown away regarding that particular piece of information. Because you would, I, I would think that you know a man would mostly uh, their favorite would actually be uh, chocolate. Uh, so it's chocolate or vanilla. And this design again, uh, a groom cake presented to a groom. You can do anything that you would consider that he would actually prefer and uh you can select his preference you can ask his his mom you can ask his boys you can ask his bride what it is that he would actually really enjoy and uh that's how you would actually design a cake again for a groom's cake there they then you you don't really need to fuss over it i'm just tripping over my words there's no need to fuss thank you so much i love you too thank you so much uh, you don't need to do a lot. It, it doesn't need to be fluffy. We, we don't want to do fluff and poof for him. It needs to be beautiful, well designed, clean, and just make sure that it represents him in uh, any which way possible. Now, how do you serve the groom's cake? Traditionally, it is boxed and it's given as a favor. That's what we usually do because as we know at the wedding, many of um, my colleagues that are online we actually would serve the wedding cake which represents both of them so what you can actually do at the reception is to box it and have the guests take that away so that would be part of the wedding favor and that's how you would actually uh, serve the groom cake uh, of course you make sure that you surprise him with it uh, you're now his wife so definitely uh, based on an arrangement with the planner for that evening you know you decide on the time you'd like to actually surprise him and she walks him over and of course make sure that he celebrated with photos and video and everything you would actually um do for the bride as a big reveal the same applies to him uh what other ideas would we actually have for a groom cake now i'm gonna read they said the cakes traditionally take on a team but most common are sports related designs um, as we mentioned, and also, which I, I wasn't aware, is a pet design. So if the groom is big on pets, a dog, a cat, whatever he considered um, a pet, uh, his favorite team, that would also be part of it. Um, if he's into uh, college sports or a pro team, that would be also that's representative of him. His hobbies like fishing, um, hiking, 
that's how you would consider designing a groom's cake. Now, if he is a financier, he's into financial planning, um, that's something you could pay homage to. Um, you can do something um, representative of the stock exchange. Um, if you're in Toronto, like I am, uh, on Bay Street, the Toronto Stock Exchange, or you can do something representative of money or an investment, however you decide um, to design it. So working along with your baker or your designer, you can collaborate with them and also your planner in order to bring his design to life and actually to make it beautiful for him. Um, the, the second thing that I have to share is is the groom's cake still popular today? I think it is. Um, I'm not sure after the pandemic, of course, we're now easing into uh, wedding celebrations again. Prior to um, COVID-19, uh, that is something that I saw a lot. I personally had a groom cake at my wedding, so you know I can vouch for that. Um, it's important. I, I figure if, if a bride is asking me as a planner for what can I do for my groom to be or my my husband to be I would suggest getting him a cake I think it's a great way to actually celebrate him it's a great way to personalize what his likes are and the things that he favors most and um, I would agree to her getting a cake for him like I said it's inexpensive so um, talk to your baker come up with an idea concept and then you can decide on the flavors and of course who knows him best more than his future wife and she can decide what the flavors are going to be. Um, the last thing that I want to touch on is uh, what, how do you decide uh, which flavors? Because again, uh, we assume that uh, all men like chocolate. That's not true. So it's important for you to, um, again, speak with the groom. I mean, you can have a conversation like what flavors? If it's ice cream that he likes, and you know he likes vanilla or red velvet or strawberry, that's something to consider incorporating in a cake when you're designing that cake for him. Um, you can also do something themed if you're living, for instance, in Canada. Uh, maple syrup is a big thing for us. For us. If he's into that, you can design a cake around, you know, the bottle of maple syrup. So just, just make sure that you find out um, what it is that he really, really likes and you run with that. And last but not least, um, there is no wrong answer in choosing a groom's cake. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Make sure that if you're doing it, you don't have to be perfect. It, again, you just know who he is, uh, know his likes and his dislikes. By now, you know a lot about him. You're about to uh, be married. And um, please do uh, take the time to work with the designer to incorporate uh, something that celebrates him. Um, that is all I have for today. Um, as you know, next Wednesday, I'm going to be here again. Uh, I'm going to actually upload this video to the YouTube channel. If you'd like to join me on the live and you're in our industry and uh, you have a service or a product and you would like to have a conversation, we can talk about your service and your product. Um, in the industry, please do reach out. You can send me a DM uh, and uh, we can arrange for a live or we can have it pre-recorded and then I upload it. Uh, again, thanks to everyone for joining me. Canada Cargo, I love you. Uh, Gina, I can see you here, my darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. There you are. Uh, Allison Makeup, thank you for having, for joining me again. Um, again, have a great evening, everyone. I'll see you next Wednesday, and again, be safe. I love you. Smooches. Bye.